Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to make a quick little script that allows us to highlight an object whenever we actually look at it. So we've got some cylinders here and if I come close to one, it outlines itself. If I look at it and if I look away, it does not out outline. And if, it, if you see it just um, flickering a little bit, don't worry about it, it's just the uh, the range, uh, the distance between my camera and the actual object. So as you can see, if I go a little bit far, it has a little bit problem to find the object, but that's not something we should worry about. So as you can see here, as soon as it's in, within the range, it highlights. If I don't look at anything, nothing highlights. So let's take a look at the actual scene set. So in the scene setup, we've got uh, the cylinders here as well as a player and a camera. On the actual player, we've got the character controller, as you would, as well as the recaster. We'll see about this one in a few. As for the actual cylinders, I have two materials. One is the actual material of the object, and another one is a custom-made shader for the outline. And we also have the outline on look script, which we will look at in a few. Here, the one thing to keep in mind is that you have to set index of mat to whichever index the outline is. So as you can see here, my outline is index 1, so I put index 1 here. That's because each material will be instantiated for each object differently, so we want to access this material during runtime. So that's why we have the index here. And as for the material, just leave it blank, uh, the script will get the reference later on and one last thing is for the layer all of the uh, cylinders i have got a new layer called outline this indicates to the script which object to actually look for during our recasting and if we were to look at the actual outline shader here it is so we start off with a normal vector and we normalize this. I leave a, a link in the description down below to the video that uh, taught me how to make this. Uh, it's definitely a great video. So if you want a more in-depth explanation on this, uh, just take a look at this video. So basically what we are doing is just getting the normal vector, normalizing it and multiplying it by a thickness and then taking the position of the actual object at each vertices and then just moving it a little bit outwards so that's what it does and then the only thing that i changed in or in, in his version is i've added a branch here okay a branch node that takes two parameters one is the position so i just linked the position straight to false and then the output of the node that is in the video i just link it to true and then i have a predicate here so i just did click here and then just added a boolean I named it show outline so whenever this is true the outline will show if it is false we are just returning the normal default position and then don't forget to just take this output and put it in the position vertex and this should work as uh, needed and if I were to just tick this here as you can see all of them just shows the outline and you can control the color of each outline as well as the thickness of them uh, you can play around with it so now let's take a look at the actual script so here we have the recaster script this is quite simple we only have a few variables one for the main camera or the player camera depending on your setup one for the outline on look this is basically just a cache that we are using to keep track of what uh, what object we actually triggered or uh, lost sorry and then we have a layer mask to indicate which object actually needs to be triggered and then on void update we are just doing a simple recasting a recast hit then we are checking whether or not we've hit something if we have hit something of this layer then we are just trying to check whether or not it has the outline on look component if it does we are returning it in the outline variable and then here we are just checking if we had another outline object previously if we did we just make sure to uh, disable the outline and then we just override the cache outline 
with the current one on the object and then just show the outline and then i just disable whatever outline we have um, if we don't have any object if the recasting is failed as you can see here and this small question mark here basically just says that only execute this method if outline is not default or is not no so this will only be executed if this is not no that's all for the recasting and this is the outline on look script here we have the material and the index on mat on void awake we access the renderer component on the actual object and then we just access materials at the index that we specified and then we just store the material here in the variable mat so this will reference directly to the instance of the material that we need and then void outline i'm just going to set float with the name show outline underscore to the material and if it is show then it's one if it is not showing then it is zero and do keep in mind that in shader graph when you're setting a boolean you should actually set it through float because we don't actually have a set boolean function so this is how you uh, set up booleans in shader graph from your c -sharp script so if you follow this tutorial then you should also have something like this one that will outline the objects uh, whenever you look at it and if you guys found this video helpful please be sure to leave a like subscribe if you not already and don't forget to tell me guys what you want me to cover on next and yeah so on this note i'll see you guys next one bye